You've probably been seeing this entertainer everywhere lately, and we're here to tell you why. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons you should know Phoebe Waller-Bridge. For this list, we're looking at all the reasons you should be paying attention to this multi-talented woman. Number 10. Her Emmy Wins one of the reasons Phoebe Waller-Bridge was in the news so much in the fall of 2019 was her stunning wins at the 71st Primetime Emmy Awards, which took place in September. Your face when you first won. You were like, no! <laughs> I know, what, kind of reaction, what kind of reaction was that? You just won an Emmy! Fleabag and Waller-Bridge took home several major awards. Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series, Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series, Outstanding Directing for a Comedy Series, and Outstanding Comedy Series. Fleabag. At least one of these wins was a major upset, with many expecting Julia Louis-Dreyfus to win the Best Actress trophy, considering how many times she's been awarded in this category for her role on Veep. And, and I've been so inspired by them, and Julia Louis-Dreyfus I've been watching, you know, for you know, all of those wins, and Veep, I, I studied Veep um, from a performance point of view as well, but also from a writing point of view, and just being amongst those, those women is extraordinary. Number 9. Fleabag so why did Waller-Bridge deserve all these awards anyway? That's because her show, Fleabag, which she writes and stars in, and which originally was created for the BBC but then became available for streaming on Amazon, is an absolute masterpiece of modern comedy. You know that feeling when a guy you like sends you a text at two o'clock on a Tuesday night asking if he can come and find you, and you've accidentally made it out like you've just got in yourself, so you have to get out of bed, drink half a bottle of wine, get in the shower, shave everything, dig out some agent provocateur business, suspend about the whole bit, and wait by the door until the buzzer goes. It's a show unlike anything you've ever seen, portraying a deeply flawed and troubled female protagonist who's simply known as Fleabag. It was really about one person's journey and always has to be, and um, even though she's occupying the, the modern world as it is now, it's really about how hard it is for somebody who hates themselves to fall in love. Her tendency to break the fourth wall and involve the audience in the action feels fresh and exciting. And we're really crossing our fingers that Waller Bridge didn't mean it when she said that season two was the final season. I mean, to be honest, this just feels like the most beautiful beautiful way to say goodbye to, to it, actually. And uh, it feels like, as Sean always puts it so beautifully, it does feel like the story is complete. And in case you still have any doubts, both seasons of the show have 100% ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. She was on Broadchurch In terms of acting, Waller-Bridge may be best known for her main role on Fleabag, but that's not her only major TV appearance. Uh, Your Honor, sorry, um, can I just ask for the indictment to be put again? Oh, Joe! You know what happened! Sit down. I said sit down. I take it from your reaction, Miss Thompson, that Queen's Council have not been instructed. She also starred in the second season of the ITV show Broadchurch, playing Abby Thompson, Sharon Bishop's junior barrister. If you're not familiar with the show, it's a UK crime drama told in a serialized format, starring David Tennant and Olivia Colman, the latter of whom also plays a role on Fleabag. It's occupied! I know. I'm out now. Go away! It's the ladies! You can't come in the ladies! Yeah, you've been ages. Oi! It's a sign. Oh. Cleaning in progress. The role Waller Bridge plays is pretty different from her Fleabag persona, but it's still plenty of fun to watch her in. Profile. Just look at it! Don't want to. Our clerk resigned. What other cases have we got? I'm waiting for the right thing. This is the right thing. Number 7. She was in Star Wars Only Phoebe Waller-Bridge could land a role in the next Star Wars movie by never having seen a single one of the films in the series. What is the story that at the, at the audition you weren't a Star Wars aficionado when no, you auditioned for No, no. I haven't, uh, uh, thanks for bringing this up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any of the Star Wars films. Well, not a single one! Dang it! She revealed in an interview that not only was she not familiar with the property, but also when she auditioned for the role of L337, she didn't actually know she was reading the part of a droid. Well, she did, but she just didn't exactly know what a droid was. Rebellion! Nonetheless, she managed to nab the part, and ended up in the cast of Solo A Star Wars Story, where she plays one of Lando Calrissian's droids. The Acades Maelstrom. I'm gonna go check on the dampers. You need anything? Equal rights? <sighs> Number 6. Crashing 
2016 was a big year for Phoebe Waller-Bridge because not only did her hit show Fleabag premiere, but she also debuted another comedy called Crashing for Channel 4. This sitcom, which she created and wrote, may not have been as big of a critical success, being canceled after just one season, but it's still plenty of fun. You are one of us now. Yes, I suppose I am. The premise of the show is that a group of youngish people are working as property guardians and living in an abandoned hospital because of the shortage of affordable housing in London. The whole point of living in a disused hospital is to get a girl on a slab. What the f <gasps> You're not allowed to have parties, cook meals, have sex, or smoke. It's a riot. Gosh. Oh, I love this place. <laughs> Bridges character shares some similarities with Fleabag, so if you're a fan, this is pretty essential viewing. Everyone has a thing. He probably just haven't found things yet. He's got to keep experimenting. <laughs> Number five, her film roles. While she is definitely better known for her work on television, Phoebe Waller-Bridge is no stranger to film. Along with Solo: A Star Wars Story, she's also appeared in other movies. In 2017's Goodbye Christopher Robin, she plays Mary Brown, a journalist intent on interviewing Christopher Robin himself. Who are you? Oh, stay exactly like that. Lovely. Like a wood spirit. Excuse me? Oh, Brown. Mary Brown. The Times. In The Iron Lady, she worked alongside Meryl Streep playing Susie, Margaret Thatcher's secretary. These are the books for you to sign. I brought as many as I could find. Shall we go through your appointments? We said we'd go through them today. Yes, mm -hmm. of course, Dad. And she had a small role in Albert Nobbs. I certainly hope she'll come and visit us soon. She'd be delighted, I'm sure. <laughs> Though her film work may not be as extensive, we can only imagine what she'll do next now that she's quickly becoming a household name. Number four, her new HBO show. And she was like, oh, hi, what, what's your name? I was like, Phoebe Waller-Bridge has a few projects in the works, and one of the ones we're most excited about is one we have very little information on. Well, Fleabag is now a massive hit, and I'm a huge fan. Thank you. Where did the concept for this show come from? Um, I think it was really inspired by the cynicism I was feeling in my 20s, and, uh, and then also wanting to play a character I could really relate to. She's going to be executive producing and acting in a new show for HBO that's being dubbed a comedy thriller. She'll be acting alongside Donald Gleason and Merritt Weaver and playing a character named Flick, which is a name that's almost as weird as Fleabag. Cyberflea2000 at hotmail.com. The series is called Run and was created by Vicky Jones, who has collaborated with Waller Bridge many times in the past. We cannot wait to see what it's all about. Number three, she's contributing to the new Bond movie. There's a new James Bond film set to be released in April of 2020 called No Time to Die, starring Daniel Craig. And though it may seem like an unexpected pairing, Phoebe Waller-Bridge was brought in partway through development to spruce up the script a bit to make it more lighthearted and witty. The story goes that Daniel Craig himself asked for her to be brought on board, partly because his wife, actress Rachel Weisz, is a fan of Fleabag. The film has had a lot of turnover behind the scenes and suffered from several delays, so hopefully Waller-Bridge was able to work her magic on this ill-fated project. Number 2. Killing Eve While we're used to seeing Phoebe Waller-Bridge in front of the camera even if she's also working behind the scenes, there's one major exception. Yeah, I guess acting in, uh, in Killing Eve, I felt very early on that it just didn't feel right and I don't really know why. I just felt like... It's, I'm not in there. Killing Eve, the female-centric British spy thriller, has a practice of having a different woman act as showrunner each season. In the first season, Waller Bridge took the reins. The show, which stars Sandra Oh, has been a major critical and commercial success on both sides of the pond, taking home a number of awards. And Killing Eve is another show that I'm a big fan of. <laughs> Thank you. How would you condense that series into a quick little soundbite? Uh, murder, murder, hair. While she was no longer heading the writing of season two, she still had a hand in it, and her signature wit can be seen in every episode. Oh, did you get me a croissant? No. Do you want the rest of this? Of course I want the rest of that. Um. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. 
Number one, her one-woman stage show. Uh, this is a rehearsal of Fleabag the play. And what's the significance of this theater that we're in right now? Uh, this is the very same space I ever did the first preview of Fleabag. Fleabag may be over, but fans still have something they can get excited about. Before Fleabag was a TV show, it was actually a one-woman play starring Waller-Bridge that she created out of a stand-up comedy set. She performed it at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe in 2013, and it won the Fringe First Award. We are taking Fleabag to the Edinburgh Festival, which is the play that I wrote uh, in 2013. In November of 2019, a filmed version of her performing it on London's West End will be hitting movie theaters for a limited stint. Don't miss your chance to get tickets before it's sold out. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.